My name is Thomas Fuchs. I'm an illustrator. I live in Berlin. I sell my work on Unique. I'm an editorial illustrator. What that means is people that work at magazines want pictures in their magazines to go with their articles to make them pretty or invite the reader to read them. It's basically accompanying um, the written text with an image that kind of invites the reader or um, well, illustrates it, I guess. But one thing about working in editorial is that the deadlines can be very short. As in, if you're working for a daily newspaper, um, they sometimes will write the articles in the morning and have them uh, off to the printer by the afternoon. And um, in that case, obviously, you have to work really fast. Like for the New York Times, for example, they have an opinion page. And they have something called the short list, which is um, a list of illustrators who can do it in three hours. And you have to deliver, obviously. There's, there's no time to um, even have two ideas. You have one and then you finish it. How I came to live in New York was a very lucky coincidence, really, because um, I had finished my studies in 97 uh, in the art school in Stuttgart, Germany. And at the time, there was a professor there uh, who was teaching magazine design. And um, he also happened to be the art director of um, a magazine called Deutschland. It's, it's really easy in New York to get appointments with art directors to show them your work, like even if you're new, because everybody's always looking for new um, talent. It's a great motivator to like keep your work actual, by, like going, uh, pushing yourself a little further. I feel music is uh, kind of important for my life, not necessarily just for my work. Um, I'm influenced by it. I mean, I make music myself, not well, but it's fun. I have some guitars. I'm more of a guitar collector than a guitar player, though, because <laughs> I like having them. Um, in terms of my work, it's, it's yeah, everything cultural uh, will influence you. Music is, is just all around, and, and I do listen to music when I'm painting. Well, what attracted me to the heart motif in the first place is that it is so, uh, it's really a dead fish. You shouldn't touch it with a 10 foot pole because it's gonna get cheesy and horrible and grandmas love it. Um, and that was kind of a challenge is that how can I make something that everybody uses for Valentine's Day or I love mommy or something into something deeper, something darker, something more, um, I don't know, gritty, I guess. <clears throat> and that's what a series is also called Love and Hate because um, pretty much every single one of that images, uh, of those images incorporates a heart, but it's always dark, it's always bad, it's always um, something sinister behind it. My most memorable commission, I would say, is probably a portrait of um, Mario Cuomo, who used to be the governor of New York State. And um, he's the only governor who does in the governor's mansion not have his portrait up. They all have their portrait painted by some famous um, portrait painter. Um, so they called me up and said, um, can you do him in a couple of different styles? <clears throat> like um, uh, art historically important styles like Picasso or Kandinsky or some of those. And they actually printed it on the front page of the New York Times, which they never do. Um, illustration is just not something they put on the front page. It's usually like some news article, some current event, some photo, some uh, something important, and not some silly portraits of uh, ex-governor. I don't know if many artists think they're gonna do it uh, for a living as, as kids, because every kid draws, and every kid draws great. And uh, I wish I could still draw how I did as a kid. <laughs> I just um, totally forgot. Um, I don't know if I'm going to do it indefinitely. I mean, it's, it's the, the obvious choice right now because I'm doing it and uh, it's fun and people seem to buy it still. <laughs> um, it is kind of sad that sometimes you do a piece or I do a piece um, and you work on it for like two days and then they print it and it's a daily newspaper or something and it's there for one day and then it goes to the garbage. There is some work that I value a little bit more and I think that it has um, either the, the quality or it deserves to be around for a little bit longer, especially with some of my personal work. And um, that's why I'm trying to like branch out a little bit more in different fields of, of applying it to stuff. <laughs>